Hello, this is Abdul Matasiri. Would like to welcome you in another Boeing 737 video tutorial. And this video will cover a situation that you might encounter during your flying, which is how to deal with excess airplane energy on the descent. That is, if you were not able to descend at the top of the descent for any reason, then what to do? Uh, two scenarios will cover. The first scenario is if you are still following the programmed route, meaning LNAV is still engaged. The second scenario is if you are on radar vectors. The second scenario will be covered in another video just to keep each video as short as possible. Uh, the topic was requested by one of the subscribers who I would like to uh, thank him and hopefully this video will be of some help to him and to other pilots. We are cruising at flight level 310, autopilot is engaged and uh, we are about 10 nautical miles to the uh, top of descent. So uh, once you reach the uh, top of descent, uh, if you are not descending, uh, then you need to slow down. As you can see here, we have the reset MCB altitude message in the uh, CDU. So go ahead and announce and clear the message. Okay, so we are approaching the top of descent and we are still not clear to descent. So we need to open the speed window and uh, start slow down. In order to open the uh, speed window, press either speed intervention or level change alt hold and vertical speed so either one of these switches will open the window for you Okay, so uh, we are past already the top of descent. So we'll go ahead and start slowing down. I'm going to press level change and slow down to two, two zero. That's a good starting point to slow to. In all cases, uh, remember not to slow down below the amber line or up speed, whichever is higher. And give yourself a margin above the up speed. Uh, the reason we are slowing down is just to dissipate some of the airplane energy. Again, when you reach the uh, uh, top of descent, the uh, vertical deviation scale indicator and pointer will be uh, shown in the ND. The middle of the scale is the airplane and the pointer is the path. It will show you in feet how high or low are you from the path. So in this case, the airplane is above the path by 1,229 feet. Okay, so now we are 2,000, almost 200 feet above the profile, and let's assume ATC gave us a clearance to descend to 10,000. So you go to MCP, set 10,000 here, level change. So the airplane will start to descend to idle power. Thrust levers are all the way, should be at the idle power now. I remember we have uh, slowed down, so now we should increase the speed back, and that is to increase our rate of descent. To what speed? As high as you can. And again, give yourself a margin below the red. So we'll go initially for 280. If you set a speed in the, uh, in the red range, you'll have here uh, an 8 shown and that means this speed is exceeding the, uh, the red but as I said uh, go initially 280 until you see the speed in the tape here and then you see how far are you from the red and then you can go ahead and continue increasing it 
All right, so our uh, vertical speed is increasing and the speed is increasing as well and if we look at the uh, the indicator here we are catching up to the profile okay so we'll look at the speed tab again here if you have a margin to the red we'll go ahead and increase the speed further let's go 300 Uh, let's go 310 okay so we are still trying to catch up to the profile the number is decreasing so we are approaching our decent path or the programmed uh, decent path profile I like to give myself as I said a margin below the red and remember if you are in uh, moderate to severe turbulence then you need to adhere to the uh, turbulence speed which is Mach 0.76 or uh, 280 indicated so as you can see now we are almost the uh, the number is not decreasing it's almost fixed so let's go ahead and use the speed break So we'll go with the speed break all the way to the flight detent, feel the vibration and unless you are in a tight spot then go ahead and retract it a bit until the vibration goes. Okay so the number is decreasing again. We need to keep an eye on the speed and on the altitude. Now, as we uh, get closer to the uh, descent path the question is when to re-engage VNAV. Remember, VNAV will uh, sacrifice the speed for the path, meaning it will exceed its target speed and try to catch up the path. While it should not exceed VMO, it might. Uh, to help eliminate the anxiety of the situation, continue your uh, descent below the path, then re-engage VNAV. So if you go below the uh, let the path get above the airplane and then re-engage VNAV. How low below? I'll give you two answers. The first one, uh, the easy answer is 500 to 1000 feet below the path uh, should be good in that, case, in that case if you re-engage VNAV uh, then the autopilot will bitch up to slow down and that uh, after everything settles if you feel that it is stable retract the speed break the uh, second uh, answer is uh, using the mental math which will I'll put at the end of the video uh, finally, if you are still not on the path approaching 10,000 feet or approaching 12,000 feet, go ahead and slow down to 250. Uh, 2,000 feet will be more than enough for the autopilot to slow down. Again, if you are uh, for any reason by 10,200 feet, the speed is still above 250, then press Alt Hold, let the speed bleed off, and then again level change 250. Okay, so we are, the profile is coming up and we are approaching 10,000 here. So we need to keep an eye on both and either re-engage VNAV or as I said again, press Alt Hold, let the speed bleed off and then uh, re-engage level change. Okay, so I let it go up to 500 feet below the path and then I re-engage VNAV. Remember, this is the airplane and the scale is up to 400. So this is 400 below and this is 400 feet above the uh, the profile okay so 12,000 here and we are about 300 okay so I'm gonna re-engage VNAV now and I'll let the uh, speed break remain extended and as you can see the autopilot will pitch up to slow down to its target speed and I'm going to leave the speed break uh, up because I know that I re-engaged it too soon and I know that the uh, thought part will need still the uh, the drag to be able to slow down. Okay, for the uh, the mental path obsessed answer for the uh, when to re-engage Vina. Remember for each 10 knots of speed above the target that is 1 nautical mile which can be converted to 333 feet of height. So uh, uh, in this example our speed was 310 and the target speed for the uh, FMC was 280 
So the difference between uh, the actual speed and the target speed is 30 knots. 30 knots can be interpreted as 3 nautical miles. And if you multiply that by 3, it's going to give you 9, which is 900 feet. And then you need to compensate for the uh, tailwind. In this uh, situation, we have about 20 knots of a tailwind. So that is another 2 miles. So instead of 3, multiply 5 by 3. And it's going to give you 1,500 feet. So if you engage the VNAV and you were 1,500 feet below the profile, then the VNAV and the autopilot will be able to slow down to the target speed and the path will be intercepted at the same time. I have not tried this in the airplane, but it worked perfectly here in BMDG. Once I try it in the airplane, I'll give you an update in the description below. That's it for part one. In part 2, we'll cover the issue if you are on radar vectors. And for both cases, scenario 1 and scenario 2, if you are in the terminal area and still high, then how to, uh, how to go about dissipating the airplane energy. Uh, this is Abdul Mata Asiri. Wish you a safe flying and smooth landing. And hope to see you in part 2. As always, if you have any questions, comments or concerns, please let me know. Thank you for watching.